7.62 millimeter full metal jacket. Word on five, Howard. The usual barrel length's 30 inches. This one has an extra 44 magnet, the most powerful handgun in the world. Anything else? AK-47, the very best there is. You know your weapons, buddy. Hello, dudes, dudettes, and non-binary folk. We are Gun Game History, the only show on the World Wide Web that brings real facts to the fake guns in your favorite digital media. Hosted by the dynamic duo, Dylan, your resident history nerd, and Teo, the tech boy, this is a weekly show where we take a shallow dive into the featured firearms in The Game of the Week. We hope you're entertained and educated by this episode, and without further ado, let's get loaded. We gotta sample that laugh. There we go. I think we're live. Are we live? Yeah, we're live. We're live. We're live. Um, What's up, welcome everybody? Welcome back to Gun Game History. Yeah. Quick break. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna try a different little tactic here. Dylan's got the sticks. Yep. Um, I'm gonna run up over here. I'm gonna whack this dude. Oh, nice stealth mode. Got him. A little, uh, Coming over here. Should have kept little, that silence pistol. Little before. different tactic for you. Coming in, going to uh, yeah. I'm gonna run up on this dude. Give him a little whack. Yeah, just give him the old. There you go, the old pickaxe. I'm telling you, it's a very what's up, buddy. Weapon. There you go. I'm just gonna Fuck him fucking up. chop yeah. this boy. They do explode sometimes after you. Yeah, kill back them. up, back get up. Get away, get away. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, now hide because you're low. Oh, oh, you fucking oof. Wow. Wow. You did a good job though. Still. Yeah. Wow. That was a lot. Yeah. Um. I and I was like. You know what you should do? You should do that again, but then drop a nade at his feet. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that exact. Oh yeah, thing. or or nade him before you run up on him. Or no no no, no try no, to no. bayonet charge. No, him. do what he did, but then yeah, yeah. like right when the whole like fire starts coming out yeah, of his yeah. shit, nade him. And then no, because he's already if the, when the fire starts coming out, he's about to explode. So you don't. Need oh to no, nade it's him. true. I guess a little bit before it's that. Probably, you know. probably want to save it. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Bam. So now I gained all this attention. That's what I really like to do. I just like to get attention. It's like getting stars in GTA. I wasn't held enough as a child. Oh, hey, dude. How about you, uh... Take one of these. Maybe another one of these. Why don't you just use all of these? There you go. Fucking finally. There Beautiful. you go. Eat it. God. Okay, so there's like a binocular, there's like a binocular spot on the map. Oh, dude. Oh, there you go. Figure out that motherfucker. Oh, you goddamn Nazi son of a bitch. You know, they weren't Nazis yet, but we can still call them Nazis. They were the Kaiser they at suck. this point, weren't they? Or the... The German Imperial Army. Is that what they were? Austro-Hungarians and all of that. So, see, it says use binoculars to spot enemies. Right bumper. Okay. I've been pushing right bumper. I'm not able to pull up the binoculars for some reason. These that is the left bumper, which is the grenade button. Ah. Which I've also done, as you've noticed in the past. Um, all my beautifully timed grenades. You know, these dudes are shooting at me with this field gun. I feel like that's a waste of ammo. Awesome. You need to hide the cover. You need to hide it. Yeah. Yeah. dead. And I got shot by an armored car. All right, I'm passing the sticks because I am terrible. I'll give it a shot. Give it a go. See what you happens. See, okay, is this like similar about... controls to? Uh... It's pretty similar. Controls. All right, I'll see what's happening. All right. You can't adequately talk about. Don't the press guns the left. The, game the left bumper is your grenade. So save that. You can use the D-pad to switch to your like. There's, you have trip wire and an anti-tank grenade. It looks like. How do I crouch? Uh, click on the right stick. 
So I did. No, sorry. Click on the left stick. So I did. Okay. Uh, I don't know. B. B. There yeah. it is. There we go. Keenan's going to take the shot. Boom. In the dome. He's going to get him. is in the bottom right. My health is in half. Oh, you got and it. I heal like Wolverine. You do actually heal like Wolverine. You only need to hide for a minute. Nice. Oh, fucking, oh. are you kidding me? What even happened? I don't even know. In the cross, you you ran into an intersection, uh, and there were people down both alleys. Mm -hmm. They both shot you in the head All right, at let's the same try this time. again. I got this. The bullets met in your hit that one Abdullah time. Oblongata. Medulla. Take yeah, take a couple shots. There you go. Hold on. I'm gonna try this one more time. Guys, war is hell. Alright, it's it's hard. It's hard to shoot dudes and not get shot. But watch this stellar shot. Boom. Bam. Hit him up. Going in. Bam. Right in the buddy. That was a pretty good shot. See, this is the trick. You gotta rush in, shoot three dudes, hide in the house. Come on out. Almost get ran Fuck, over by a car. Killed. God damn it. All right, one more time. Third time's a charm. I've never played this game before. No, also it's like this is this is like I feel like we're not even approaching this level properly. Like we're supposed to no. be doing this like stealth mode, and th that that yeah, that's not the approach we're taking at all. All you guys that have played Battlefield One all the way through multiple times are probably screaming at your screen right now, pulling your hair out. You're like, you're supposed, to, it's a stealth level. What is that little marker on the right? That's the guy who can alert them, I think. That is that like the officer? Yeah, shoot him. Yeah, take him out first, take maybe. Shot. Or you can sneak up on him and murder him. Shh, 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 shh. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. I don't want to give away your position. Secret, secret sleuthy, sleuthy business. Anam, 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 Anam. No, 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 no. This motherfucker, you know what? Fuck it. Well, you know what? The CPU is probably really. No, it's really important. Oh my god. We're playing chess, not checkers, motherfucker. Mm hmm. Boom. That dude was really about to shoot at you from point blank range with that artillery. He was getting behind it. Yeah. Keep moving, kid. Get behind cover. Get into that building. Fucking cunt. Dude. Oh my god. Dude. I'm gonna. Okay, one more time. Yeah, you got it. I got it. Take Hold two. on. Take two. One more time. I got this. Take two. I can do this. Tank warfare is not warfare. It is slaughter. Unknown. Can you even quote unknown people? Like, how does that work? Is a quote really a quote if you don't know who said it? I mean, it's a dead dude. It doesn't mean a person didn't say that. I'm sure like, that... Even if a person made the quote up, it's still technically a quote because somebody made up that, th that thing. So... No matter what you say, somebody said it because it is written. Okay. Bubblegum unicorns taste like duty. No. Unknown. Quote, unknown. Yeah, exactly. Like, you've said that now. So just because you're not willing to admit who you are doesn't mean it wasn't said. I'm definitely not. You can willing totally to admit quote who I am. unknown people. What are you talking about? 
know. And there's all kinds of things that we say all the time that we have we have no idea who said them. You should really never trust anything that you read on the internet. Abraham Lincoln <laughs> said that. Shot by. Oh God damn it! There's a truck. <sighs> Here, fucking, I gotta play this game more. All right. Talk about guns, boys. Okay. Yeah. Tell me so, about tell me about pew pews. Uh, so they, they, I'm, I'm they, make, kidding. they make the recoil like way more intense than I think it really is. And uh yeah, they make it very hard to aim. I think it might actually like, be kinda accurate. I mean, if you're trying to shoot one of these prototype semi automatic rifles pretty fast. Like, there's going to be some considerable recoil because these are full power rifle cartridges. I That's mean, that's true. I mean, I, I might be speaking from a place of like fucking, uh, what's it called? You know, different experience just because I've shot a lot of guns before. Well, yeah. You know what I mean? it's, like, it's easy to keep an AR 15 on target because you're shooting no, a No, I mean, pretty, it's got a buffer tube. No, but I mean, it's like, got a buffer tube and you're also shooting yeah. a pretty tiny cartridge. Yeah, I no, mean, but I mean, I've, I've personally shot a fucking, uh, what's it called? Uh, Mosin pretty fast. Oh, yeah. Um, on target before. But, you know, like I said, it depends on the person. So that's neither here nor there. Um, I just thought it, it like, was a little difficult in game, but yeah, it's true. Like, when you're trying Definitely to fire a full difficult. size cartridge like that, yeah. There you go. There you go. You're doing pretty good, too. Go through the house, sneak around the side. Yeah, it's a weird balance when you're trying to design a game like this. Yeah. It's like, how much recoil do you put in? Like, you know, a lot of recoil is realistic, sure, but then it's difficult to play the game. Yeah. You know? There we go. Got your little MP18. Little side snail mag. No idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Shoot the German. Yeah, that's pretty much the goal. Open that got? crate. Got some dinamite. 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 Blah, 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 I know I already mentioned it once, but the, the way that they made the rate of fire on this gun kind of pisses me off. Think you should be faster? Yo, it's way faster in real life. Yeah. Bop, 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 really should be brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
You know, the Come 1911 on, is actually... Uh, Give me one more. It's actually pretty perfect for adapting to a silencer because the 45 ACP cartridge already goes really slow. Yeah, so quiet. I mean, we're talking about sub 1,000 feet per second, just straight out of the barrel. Um, it goes faster if you shoot it out of a longer barrel, like, uh, like the grease gun. Um, 45 ACP comes out of that a little bit faster. But out of a pistol, like, it goes pretty slow. So when you already have a bullet going subsonic like that, it's really easy to silence it. Um, so that's, uh, that's a little bit about silencers for you guys. Or suppressors. Suppressors. I should say. I literally, that's what I just typed into uh, the Googler. Googler. Stick granate. I don't think you're picking up any grenades. I don't think. I Nice. I gotta say, the guns do look great. They do. This. They did pretty good animation. They did a great job. Like, I can't say anything as far as the actual design of the guns. The only thing I have a beef with is whether or not these guns are actually in the world. Okay, oh, so come on. I've got I got a little history for us to fill oh, this in, all right? Ooh, history all right, here lesson. Here we go. Let's Sit get down. Oh, boys oh, and girls please and distract me with okay, your let beautiful me distract history. You with some history. Okay, so here we go. This is uh the history on the early and I'm going to say silencers right now and you'll find out why in just a second. Uh silencer is totally fine to say. In the early 1900s, Hiram Percy Maxim son of the inventor of the Maxim gun, mm -hmm. began developing early suppressors, which he christened silencers. There you go. It wasn't long before the U.S. Army took interest in these new silencers and began testing them. The U.S. Army began test... Uh, uh, oh, no. The U.S. Army tested the silencers extensively between 1909 and 1916. Bam. In 1910, Colonel S.E. Blunt, Springfield Armory's commanding officer reported in January 1909 that the Maxim silencer reduced the M1 or the M1903's uh, report at the muzzle and felt recoil by around a third with no loss of accuracy. And that's with a full powered rifle also. M1903 that shoots a 30 out 6 yeah. 30 caliber round. I mean that will destroy a moose. It'll kill anything in North America. Um, and they were slapping that thing on a bolt-action rifle that doesn't have any gas exchange. I mean, all of your gases are coming right out of the end of the barrel. Oh. A silencer on that bad boy, and it worked yeah. back then. And that time frame that you're talking about, what was that, 1909 to 1916? Yeah. Um, that's that's World War One. Yeah. You know. That's uh, that's a that just made a formidable enemy even more fucking formidable. Like mm -hmm. that was some serious shit. Like now you had no idea where that shot was coming from. Yeah, yeah. That's not to say that guns that do have silencers or suppressors don't make any noise at all. I that's mean, it's true. not like if you're far movies. enough away though. You if know? you're far like, enough away and you've got like some trees yeah. between you and whatever you're shooting at. It's you need baffles unlikely. for your baffles. You do need baffles for your assholes. <laughs> um, but yeah, just so you guys know, I'm sure that all of you guys who are gun nerd adjacent already know this, but movies and video games for the large part get silenced and suppressed weapons wrong. I oh mean, yeah. They're a lot louder in real life than they are in the games. I, I mean, think the only thing that's actually maybe video game quiet is like a 22 pistol mm -hmm. with a suppressor on yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's pretty damn quiet. Yeah. But for the most part, I mean, it's still loud. Like, you got to wear hearing protection if you're shooting any kind of actual suppressed weapon. Um, it's not like just a little pew, 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 pew. <laughs> The, like that yeah. scene in John Wick where they're shooting at each other, like in the mall. In the mall. Yeah, yeah. No, you everybody like would have been like secret under their jacket. Yeah, no, that's it, no, no. Even <laughs> with the twenty-two, you would by. still hear a little crack. Like, yeah, like you'd be like, something's going on here. Yeah, Ooh, that was a nice headshot. Ooh, there you go. ooh, ee. 
Ooey gooey. Wow. Wow, another headshot. Nice one. Mr. Sir. Get that. There you go. Weird experimental semi automatic rifle. Yeah. Because how fun would this game be if it was just like revolvers and bolt action rifles? I mean, I'd have a great time. Yeah, I mean. But would you guys? You know, that, I, I feel like that would be I, ideal for someone like us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Was more into like what would be most realistic for that time period. I mean, it'd be good for realism yeah. because like I, I mean, that would be fun for me. Like I would feel great having the limitations of a five round internal magazine and a bolt action. Right. You know, but for a lot of you guys out there, you've been playing Black Ops, you've been playing, you know, Battlefield a million, you know, you've been, uh, oh, I, I don't know about this. I don't know about this silence broom handle. How do right you feel here. about this? I don't know about that. I guess it's possible. I mean, all the guns in this game are possible, but uh, probable? I don't know about that. I think these dudes are in the building. I mean, for a lot of you dudes out there that have been playing like more modern Call of Duty games and Battlefield games, like you're used to tactical guns that are either fully automatic or semi-automatic. Um, you guys want to see like cool reloading animations with uh, box magazines and you know you guys want to see high capacity. And scopes and cool attachments and the fact of the matter is that back in the early 1900s it was pretty bare bones. Yeah. I mean the whole world was going through the industrial revolution. Okay, Part of the reason why World War One started in the first place is because we had all these weapons and everybody wanted to fight. But for the large part, it was, you know, basically submachine guns like this, pistols like this without the silencer, and bolt-action rifles. And fucking melee weapons. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, this. a lot of people forget, like, you know, World War One was one of our first, like, uh, somewhat, like, long-distance warfare situations, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. We were still fighting mostly hand to hand in very like person to person situations. Oh yeah. Like, yeah. If you guys think about the uh, the Civil War, after charges, I didn't even need to be fighting these guys. I just needed to go south. Of I'm uh, ridiculous. This is this is ridiculous. I apologize for being so bad at gaming. People were still doing fucking line warfare. Oh yeah. You know line I mean? warfare like, and cavalry charges yeah. where you had like usually. Maybe revolvers, but usually just single shot black power pistols and all that saber. Yeah. Only fucking officers got revolvers in uh -huh. I think. But you had a saber that was sharp and uh -huh. long. Yeah. And you'd ride so through a crowd game. of people I'm chopping so heads. Sorry. Dude. Okay. Alright, I got you know? it. I got That's it. 150 years ago. This is yeah. it. This is it. Alright. We're we're gonna run this one again. This is it or I quit. You got it. Taya's gonna try to just salvage the spark plugs. You know, be a sneaky boy. Is that the entire point of what we've been doing is trying to get spark plugs? That's yeah, it. Literally. That's all. You know, you'd think you'd have a couple extra in the tank. You'd think. Right? Like, I feel like that would just be something you had. If it's a part that could go bad, yeah. like, I don't know. Hop up over here. Hop over this. Chase the rats. Yeah, I saw a dude uh, running into that there building. Window. Think anything's going on with that? Nah. You probably just saw a big conglomeration of rats. It's a uh, weird noises coming from the building. Should I just melee him? Yeah, I could yeah. probably go around the side of the building. I could probably just run around the building. Get seen and then get shot at. Uh -huh. Bam. There you go. My boy. There you go. Right into the clavicle. 
Oh, got it up top. There you go. Let's see if I can get up top. I tell you what, you just got to get him right through the jump. I bet this is what I was supposed to be doing all along. Yeah, you're not. No, get him. Get him. There you go. That dude had a weird face mask on. Hey, there you go. You should uh, give him the old, uh, give him the old uh, one-two punch. I tell you. Yup. Use your entrenching tool. Yeah. Dig a trench in his fucking forehead. Yep. You got a. Uh, you got uh, You got any of them? Uh, them what if shovels? he just leaves? What if he just leaves? Hold on. He could just leave. Oh, God damn it! You know you love to grab that ladder. Such a peaceful little village. You should switch to something that's a more uh, got a longer barrel kit. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. If you want to be doing the shootings. Oh no, I'm just scouting right now. Oh. Just trying to mark things. Well, uh, there's some motherfuckers over there. And, uh, you know, those things. Hey, friends, what do you think that dude that's up there pointing the gun at us you is know, all about? Uh, what's up with all them type of things? Ah, you reckon wouldn't he wants, worry uh, about it. You reckon he wants uh, some of our uh, some of our little Nazi secrets? Or Listen, some clobbering. Some clobbering. You know what? You can take your kielbasa and shove it up your ass. Hey, you know, you fucking uh, you guys want some sauerkraut? There you go. Yeah, have some mashed potatoes and some schnitzel. Mashed potatoes and schnitzel. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Go back to fucking Poland. Yeah, that's what I tell you. You're just going full berserker mode, you know. Right now. Yeah. Your boy's feeling himself. You got a shovel, just like sinking that shovel into dude's clavicles. That's a fun word. Clavicles. I'll have. Telling me. There he is. Clavicle. Ah, clavicle. Yep. Clavicle. I don't need ammo. I don't need anything. I, don't need I just anything. need a shovel. I, I don't need, need energy drinks I don't and need a need shovel. I thinking bullets. I just, I just use my shovel. Jo there you go. Yeah. Fucking shovel disaster. Ow. I'm gonna hop through a hole in the wall. I'm gonna climb up in your house and shoot you in the mouth. Liming through a hole in the wall Looking for some Nazis gonna kill them all Yeah, I got that little PO8 artillery What you got in there? That's More a bottle of booze? No. I mean, I don't care I, might help. I don't care about it You know, that's a big old semi-automatic rifle. Yeah, it does I'd keep all that. Right. Yeah, I would definitely keep that. I'd say your current loud loadout's probably pretty good. Yeah, fuck that little thingy right there that yeah. you get. Yeah, that's not. Nah. You got a, you got some good stuff going on. Yeah. You got your big rifle. Yeah. I just don't have a lot of ammo for this. That's I have plenty of ammo for this. How much ammo does that have? Oh, I, I mean, care. you know what? Fucking okay. 15 you know, rounds of that's whatever. better okay. than. You, know, you just kill that dude fuck and take it. his gun. You're not even using ammo. Switch, no, switch your other gun. There you go. No, no, no. That's a bolt action rifle. There you go. But you could switch out your low. Your, oh, wait, you have more. Never mind. I have plenty of ammo. No, yeah, I didn't realize. I thought it was the other way around. All right. Yeah. So. Climb that wall. What does it yeah. want me to do? It wants me to go fuck with this can? Yeah, field gun. Field gun. Es ist mein scheiß Field Gun. Use the field gun to shoot the town. 
This man of in the field over there. Or no, this man over here. You must shoot them. Shell drop. Yes. You can't even see it or shoot. I thought I was supposed to be getting engine parts. Yes, but you see this. Okay, I need to stop talking. Your bullets is, you know. Bullets oh, drop. Sun. Sun. Or go. Okay, so like that's mission objective, and then is this the other mission objective? What's going on here? That's what I want. See, I don't even think the game knows what it wants to tell you to do. You gotta Four. think outside the box. There's like an alarm here or something. It that is in fact an alarm. I'd call it more like a quad horn. Okay, so never mind. I was gonna talk about this belt fed dealie over there, but it's all good. Look like a Maxim gun. Yep. Of some sort. Yep. You know, not a not a Browning. Water cooled. No, uh, that. Uh, what was like the? A what or was maybe the, a Vickers? Yeah, but what was the deal with those big housings they had? Because it wasn't water, right? Oh, around the barrel. Yeah. That was for sure a water tank. Was it? Okay. No, but it just wasn't uh, the Browning version. Yeah. I always get confused because they have that weird like uh, fluting right. on the sides. Yeah. yeah. There were there were multiple kinds of the Browning light machine gun. Um, pretty much all. The Right. Right, right. During World War II, we got away to lower the firing rate and put a heat shield on it. Right. And they instructed the crews to just like do controlled bursts, don't just lay onto the trigger. Right, right. You know, Was it, there, there were a few models where they would carry multiple barrels mm -hmm. and like interchange them like sequentially to let them cool down like in time yeah during world war ii it was a common procedure to have a two-man machine gun crew for light machine gun right like the uh, the browning light um and that second gunner the guy who was not shooting he would be responsible for reloading the firearm and changing out the barrels right it got too hot Right. That was his job. He had extra barrels in his pack. I think two. Um, and then a bunch of bandoliers of ammo and boxes of ammo in his hands. As much as he could carry. Yeah, and the fucking tripod. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. A serious piece of machinery. Oh, know. really? Oh, I just have a sword yeah, now. There you go. There's your saber. There you go. Go, yeah, you gotta go chop some motherfuckers. You got the technique also. You gotta lean to the side, lateral swing. I just don't understand what the game wants me to do right now. It, it wants, wants you, you to, to kill the Germans, Teo. Yeah. <laughs> shoot the Germans. It's or... it's so hard. Hey, so do you uh How much time do we have? You have Oh we have like we have like thirty minutes. To kill the Germans. We have like 30 more minutes to kill the Germans. Okay. All right. All right. What is the point here? Okay. You need to stop. Please asking. don't shoot your horse. I'm not gonna shoot the horse. Really uh, thought you were gonna shoot the horse for a really second. Did you really think I, I was really gonna did. shoot the horse? 
Uh, I mean, maybe you that makes it's me a sad. virtual horse. That makes me sad that you think I, oh, I, that I would shoot the horse. I don't know. I mean, you parked the horse right. Maybe it front. has a broken. That's leg. true. No, I see what you're saying. I, I totally know. see what you're saying. I don't it know what you're like gonna do. It's a virtual world. You can do whatever you want to do. I would never shoot the horse. Maybe no. it has a virtual that's broken leg. Up. That's really. That's really just don't, messed up. Don't please. It's really just messed up. I would never. I don't, don't want to harm animals. You don't know? want to harm these animals. You're concerning me with swinging your axe around near the horse. Saber. Look, he's your buddy. <laughs> Retrieve engine components. Okay, so like, where are the engine components? Is like, that okay. the engine components that's, over there? That's what I thought. Like, with the white marker. This is like where you it's need to get been. the fucking spark plug. Or did you get that already? See, this is what life was like before GPS. You just ask questions. Is that what it is over there? Where do you go? Oh, cool. Now I have a sniper rifle with a ton of ammo. Sweet. This mm -hmm. looks like a uh, semi-auto. Oh, this is excellent. I just need to get to a high point, and then I can... Semi-auto sniper. Murder. Which is double rare, double unlikely. <sighs> I mean, if you got issued one of these as a dude in World War One, you had to come from a good family. You know, like your name had to be like Schultz or something <laughs> like that. What? Or like Munchausen? Munchausen. Or lots of money. Munchausen, lots of money von Schultzenstein. That's right. You heard it here, people. Did your character just fart? Because I heard that also. That definitely like didn't little... come from any of us. It just went. I thought I thought that was the windmill. Nah. Uh, it could be a squeaky cog. That was a squeaky butt fart. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what that was. <laughs> I might have just tooted. I mean, what do you eat? Like, it, you know, what do you think? I the mean, Brit pork and beans. Bre dude, is what no. The British military Motherfuckers up in the eat. trenches had some serious booty problems. Oh yeah, that's like, what I mean. Like yeah. whatever they were eating was it was nasty. No, nothing got, good. I mean, the got British mud butt. The British actually had like a lot better than most. No, they were eating motherfucking Vienna sausages and fucking baked rats. beans and probably rats, depending on where you were on the line. Yep. Because, like, nobody was gonna bring you shit because you were getting fucking shelled day in and day out. Yeah. And you guys were literally mole people because you dug your way into the earth to escape the fucking constant and, bombardment. And there's no MREs. No. Back then, uh, you know. I've watched Steve 1989. Yeah. Like, I know what they had back then. It was like. Even a, that shit was equivalent to rats, too. Yeah. Like, it was like a steel can with some crackers and a bar of chocolate and like a beef bouillon cube. Oh, don't forget the meth chocolate. That, yeah, yeah. The yeah. meth chocolate. The meth chocolate. Well, I guess keeps the Germans going. were mostly getting that. Our guys were just getting fucking boiled potato tasting ass fucking Hershey bars. Dude. Like, my grandpa told me, like, because he was in uh, World War II and they were getting, you know, the weird little Hershey bar uh, rations. And he was like, it wasn't no candy bar. It was unsweetened chocolate. It, just, it was basically tasted like a boiled Baker's potato. Baker's chocolate. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Ugh. If you've ever tasted Baker's chocolate out there, you know it's not good chocolate. No. Wow. That's that's rough. That's I rough. Mean, I mean, you can't give our boys a little bit of fucking sugar or like some sucralose or some like, motherfucking Splenda. Yeah, like, some like little amenities like that go so far when you're living in the middle of hell. Dude. I mean, morale is everything. If, if I got a, like a nice granola bar while I was being asked to shoot some dudes, I'd probably be like, all right. That's what I'm saying. All like, right. yo, if I was in the trenches and you gave me a lunchable, like one of those oh. pizza lunchables, oh. oh my god, like, uh, yeah, it, that's just otherworldly. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, that's my whole life. Yeah, these motherfuckers were dealing with the worst possible conditions. Yeah, no doubt. What is that? Just a beater that is, hatchet. That is a hay chest. It's a hatchet, dude. All right. So I need to find somebody to murder, or I'm honestly gonna lose my shit. You're really not like running into any. And like I don't, I, I just don't understand. Like there's like two mission objectives on the map. 
And oh, honestly, no. those mission objectives don't even matter. Your main mission objective is kill the Germans. Kill the Germans, too. Grenade! No, those are lures. Oh. Um, well, guys, you know what? I don't what? know if you can tell, but the Chippendale's really not that good at playing this game. I'm so bad at it. Like, it's making me upset. It's like I, I really wanted to be able to like streamline through this and it because it, it doesn't seem like it's a very difficult level. But I am frustrated to be honest with you. Like on it, I, and I can't hear what they're whispering, but I feel like it's I feel like it's fantastic. I feel like it's just fantastic. And it's probably really on point, you know. To be honest, I, I'm probably running towards the mission objective. Oh, you right just gotta now. kill that motherfucker. This is the Get only him. motherfucker Kia! I need. Kia! Kia! This is my brand new hatch. Get in there, hide, and then chuck some grenades and shoot. There you go. Switch. 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 Send me out. Send me out. There you go. That's how you do it. That guy died a couple pounds heavier. From all the lead that you dumped yep, in it. Yep, yep, yep. I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you the count of ten to get you no good stinking sorry ass off my property before I pump it. Oh, see? You pumped his guts full of lead, fucking rat bait. Making this like home alone. You setting know? traps for these dudes. Alright, the music has stopped. No one is triggered. Where? I'm triggered. I'm very triggered. Did you just assume my gun's gender? Listen. Listen. My gun. My gun <sighs> doesn't have. Your weapons are phallic, all of my them. My weapon is. Hey, my vaginal. barrel. My barrel is an empty tube until your actually toxic masculine true. bullet goes into it. That's Pretty much. Oh, oh. <laughs> did we go there? <laughs> no, to all of our viewers, we are, uh, we are, this is jokes, this is jokes, this is jokes. <laughs> yeah. But, listen, you guys can take it however you want to. I'm not going to say it's a joke. I'm not saying it's not a joke. But don't assume my gun. What is this trend? Don't assume my gun. And please, YouTube algorithm, don't demonetize us. <laughs> not that we're monetized. But, <laughs> but, we, but, you know, also consider monetizing us if that's a thing uh, that's, like, on your mind. Slash, uh, check out your local LGTBQIQ gun club. Yeah. Yeah. K-loggers for Jesus. Uh, Bro. you know, we're, uh, we're here in the Bay Area. We're out here. Uh, Killing it. Loving we're, it. We're out here every day. Um, it's a struggle, you know, it's a struggle like, for a lot of people. You know what? I, actually, I have something kind of weird I wanted to bring up. What's uh, up? Not weird, but like, it's kind of a bummer. Um, a friend of mine was recently shot in the head. Yeah. Like, just the, just like yesterday. Who? Um, Listen, we're uh, getting real, I, I, everybody. I can't, I can't get into the details. You don't need to do, yeah, yeah, yeah. But... You know, it, I just want to, you know, I want to acknowledge that even though, like, you know, we l all love guns here, like, these are really dangerous objects that they are, are intended to hurt people and yeah. intended to yeah. kill people. Yep. yep. And so, like, at the end of the day, like, you know, you need to respect these things and, and the fact that just they, they have caused a lot of harm and a lot of pain throughout history, you know? As, yeah. as cool as they are, like, there is nothing very happy surrounding any one no, piece and, of this you know, machinery. And listen, no, we, we play around a lot. Like, we like to play these video games. Video games aren't reality. You know, as as evidenced by the facts that I'm spitting and Keenan spitting and Teo's spitting in your guys' general direction, like, these guns are not real, both because they're virtual and in a video game and also they're not accurately represented. I'm telling you guys, I like guns. And I would not even think about pointing my guns at another human being unless my life was immediately in danger. Like, it is a huge, huge, like, thing that you hold in your hands um, when you're a gun owner. 
a lot of power. Yeah, no, there's... And it's, it's not something to trifle with. No, you know, for sure. Absolutely what you need not. to learn, I feel like, when, especially when being a gun owner, is that you, because you have that power in your hands, you need to learn how to be the ultimate de-escalator of situations. Absolutely. Absolutely. The last thing you want to do is have to resort to using your firearm you to protecting yourself. It. Yeah. But, you know, like the, that doesn't the age it. old, or yeah, the age old adage always stays true. I'd rather have one and not need one than need one and not have one. That's so true. Like, but that being said, never want to have to use it unless, yeah, like you said, my life's immediately in danger or you know someone like one of my family members life is immediately in danger while i'm there it's just not a good scenario I not mean, at all it's the even only, if i yeah. had to use one i would not feel good about shooting someone no 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 way we play that around that would take that would take months and months if not years of, of therapy to get over oh yeah 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 like shooting virtual like austro-hungarian empire troops in a video game oh look at this babe Look at her. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, shooting these virtual dudes, like, it's fun in games. Like, we're having a good time. But honestly, shooting real people, it's not a good time. No. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't, don't shoot do it, folks. people. Don't, don't be a person who shoots people. Be safe with your guns. Practice yeah. good gun safety. Yeah. Practice, you know, trigger, trigger control and all these things. You know, and, and we're nerds. Like, if you guys have guns out there, handle them safely. You know, watch where your trigger finger is. But also watch where the angry end of the barrel is pointing. But also send us pictures of your cool guns. because We'd love to see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Always interested in Dil cool rigs. Dylan wants to see your guns. Yeah. I would Keenan love to see. To see I will guns. reply to your messages. Yeah. He will gush because he can't afford guns as nice as yours, probably. No, I can't. Most likely. <laughs> Or if you have antiques, ooh. I love yeah, them antiques. Antiques, welcome. Extremely welcome. Yep. Except for no uh, Nazi memorabilia. Yeah, please. Well, yeah. No, I mean, if you, you know, obviously we respect anything historical, but you can't. Yeah. yeah, I mean, actually, that's true. I guess, I don't know. Yeah, Listen, I, I I don't know how I, just, how I feel you know, about yeah. it. You know, I, I respect yeah. that. It, you know, I get it I from a historical it from standpoint. A historical point yeah, of view, yeah. but also like I would never want to glorify anything. Listen, any if of those one objects. of you guys out there has a PO8 artillery version <laughs> like that one that was laying on the ground right there, you got one of two options. All right, you can pick either option. All right. One, donate it to a museum where they're going to preserve that thing under glass. Two, give it to the cops to melt it down. Like, I'm I'm sorry. It was a dark time in the history. We recorded these things in books. You don't need to hang on to that thing. It's got weird juju. It's got some weird juju. Yeah. Uh, or um, if it's got a swastika on it, just Dremel tool, a big giant penis over the swastika or something. Yeah. Or, you know, or like, uh, who knows? So do something over it. Uh, Gotta deface the swastika heavily. Taylor, the demolition expert yeah. over here. Dude, I just don't know what to do, honestly. What does that windmill ever do to you? I honestly don't know what to do. Like, I can't... I, I picked up the engine part. I've killed all the people. I don't... I, I thought I had the thing. It says to retrieve the engine component. I thought that I did that. I think... I think I think I might, you know, I think I might just have to call it. You know, honestly. I think this is a good time to call it. Yeah, it's, I think we, so. It's, this is, We've this honestly is, gotten to the end of our rope. This is the end. Of, I mean, I, I come on, look at my horse. I, I can't even take my horse across. Like, there's a bridge right there. I know. What he's, am I doing? He's looking at there's you like. There's a bridge dude, right there. Where the a, I'm not gonna shoot the horse. Don't I'm just shoot looking at the it. fucking I, like, horse. <laughs> Sorry, but like. Look at that. Look at that beautiful horse. He's a majestic Good. steed. Good. Climb on my Fierce. big ass steed. Fearsome. Well, yeah. thank you for listening to our first episode with 
four episodes with uh, Keenan. It's yeah. been a pleasure having I am, you, uh, Keenan. I am socially insensitive, but my heart's in the right place. Y- yeah. There yeah. you go. <laughs> we, we, and, and we love having for it. you. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Your wit but, uh, and humor yeah. <laughs> is always welcome. Uh, uh, yeah, but yeah. By the way, uh, very happy with what you guys have created. This is very fucking cool. I it's think a lot of fun. It's gonna go very far, and I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, yeah. This is a really good idea. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. I hope you uh, can come back many a time. Yeah, definitely. Listen, viewers, it's time to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? What are you doing with your Watching life? Watching this Come video on. and you not even being know. notified when the next video comes out? Do you not like this video? It, Why are you even watching this if you don't actually like it? It's so good. And it's you've so gotten good. to the end. Like, you, you just got listen all the to like, the what, end. 30, 40, 50 minutes you of just like way. nonsense. Like, absolute nonsense. I like, mean, are me you threatening right to shoot a horse. Don't. I would never shoot a horse. I would never shoot a I horse. Mean, I'm just I saying. Mean, I mean, you could, though. I mean, yes, in this reality, I could shoot that horse without Don't consequence. Shoot the horse. Some things are just not okay, even in but the But I'm not going to do it. All right. I'm not going to do it. Listen, <laughs> everybody subscribe. If you don't subscribe, if you don't subscribe I'm going to be the horse. If we're going to shoot the horse. We will shoot the horse. All right? I swear. If you don't subscribe, I will shoot the horse. Listen, I don't want to. I don't want he to. He really doesn't want to. But my contract to. says that... I have to give them something, and if I don't a have sacrifice. subscribers, I, I I have to I have to give them best. Listen, and I love this horse, guys. Like I've been with this virtual horse for like all of my respawns. You know yeah. what I mean? Like every single time, she has been that's the object. That's fucking Nelly, bro. The, the Nelly? Nelly, that's Nelly. Oh, my horse's name is Nelly. Oh, Dude. the tank's name is Bess. No, your horse, bro. Nelly. Whoa. Nelly. Whoa. Hit that like button. <laughs> hit hit that dingy dong And you'll bell. get a free horse in exchange for me not shooting this horse in the head. Subscribe, Gun Game History. Good game, homies. Good, Good game, game, homies. homies.